Hello, this is Chris, and I thought I would tell you a little bit about this guitar, or do a demo video here for the guitar. This guitar is called a Requinto. It's a small size guitar. It was built by a luthier named Edgar Vila. And if you go online, you can see that Edgar has built some guitars for some fairly prominent musicians, including one of my favorite, Chet Atkins. There's a picture there uh, online that looks as if he's delivering a guitar to Chet. Uh, this particular guitar, uh, I actually talked to Edgar about it. It is, uh, has a 21.75 inch scale, so 21 and three quarters. It is a nylon guitar. It has a two inch nut. It has an ebony fingerboard, a cedar top. Back and sides are rosewood. The guitar is 34 and three, looks like 34 and three eighths inches long. And uh, it's four inches in terms of depth. Uh, a nice little, uh, I guess you could use this as a travel guitar, a nice little guitar. Uh, very good action. It has very, uh, it projects quite well. I'll do a little demo for you in a minute and show you that. But let me give you a little close up of it here. If you can look at the uh, headstock there, that's sort of Edgar Villa's trademark. If you go online, you'll see that little, uh, that little part. Let me see if I can lift this. And there, you can see it a little bit better there. He does this little thing on the top. Uh, all the tuning keys are in great shape. None of them are bent, of course, and they work quite well. And there's the rest of the guitar. It has very few scratches even. Certainly no cracks, no structural issues of any kind. You can see there's a few little nicks. There's one right there. Uh, the bridge is sound on it. Let me turn it over so you can take a look at the back. There you go. Guitar's in great shape. Again, it's for 1991. And I imagine one of the reasons it's in great shape is because of this really nice, uh, I believe they call them Calton, Calton cases. It's one of these extremely sturdy hard shell cases built in, uh, I think these are built in Canada. Uh, I know those cases for normal size guitars run about $700 a piece. So I imagine this one's a little bit less, but again, quite expensive. So again, I will uh, pause this video for just a moment. Let me put this down here. <laughs> Give you another scan of the guitar. Can't remember what they call that uh, kind of cutoff, but I'm sure some of you will know that. And again, there's a little, right there's a little neck, and that's probably the worst part on the whole guitar. Do a close up on the bridge there for you. It does have an end pin, and it does have a. Uh, strap pin there. Let me do a close up on these. Uh, there you go. Excuse me. Okay, I will pause this and do a little demo so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, let's give it a try here.
Dios. Um, that's it. Nylon string. I believe this is cedar. I believe this to be rosewood. I'm not quite sure what the neck is made out of, but again, feels good, sounds good, structurally extremely sound. Um, I think Edgar told me if he were building these now, uh, he would charge somewhere between three and four thousand dollars for this particular model. But of course, this is a, I guess, a, it's about ten years old now. It's about coming up on eleven years old. So anyhow, if you're interested, give me a call. I, I uh, have enjoyed it, but it's time for this one to move on and, and you know, in with the new ones and out with some of the old ones. And once again, it's got an incredibly sturdy Calton case that goes with it. It's got about six or six latches, it seems like. One, two, three, four, five, six, or maybe even more. But uh, nice little guitar if you want this kind of guitar. A little bit different.